Monads are a tool for composing certain types of operations, but to really understand them it helps to first understand functors. Say we have a function which takes in a cat treat and returns a cat. How do we apply this function if instead of just a cat treat, we have a box which either contains a cat treat or nothing? Well, if there is a cat treat, we take it out of the box, call the function, and then put the return value, the cat, in the box. Otherwise, we just return an empty box. What if we have a collection of cat treats, like a list? In this case, we can take each cat treat out of the box in turn, call the function on every input, and collect the results in a similar container. In each case here, we're taking our function which operates on bare values and turning it into one which operates on values in a context, like a value which may or may not exist, or a list of values, or the promise of a value. This adapter which takes functions on bare values and turns it into one on values in context is usually called map, and a context paired with this special mapping function is called a functor. Let's make one small change to our treat to cat function. This time we'll take a treat and maybe return a cat. You know, maybe they're all asleep at the time we get the treat. So we'll take a treat and we'll turn a box which either contains a cat or is empty. Now, like earlier, how do we call this function if we maybe have a cat treat in a box as our input? Well, if we do our mapping function, then we take our input out the box, we call the function, we put our result back in. But because of our change to the treat to cat function, we end up putting our box inside another box. And you can see how this would quickly become unwieldy. We'd have boxes of boxes of boxes of cats. So the solution is we want to collapse one level of the context away so that a list of lists becomes a list and a promise of a promise just becomes a single promise of the final result. This is called join. Turns out that doing a map followed by a join is so useful it gets its own name. It's called bind. This lets you compose operations which produce values in these contexts without having to handle them yourself. You just focus on your operations and you compose them as you like. As long as someone has written map and join, you're good. A context along with this bind function is called a monad.